If you look at the mobile ecosystem, there's a lot of things going on right now. And Unity is up there. We've got a very large market share and we are just developing and developing and developing for mobile developers. It's one of our biggest user bases and we really love the indie developers and the larger groups using mobile Unity. In Unity 4, we've added an array of features for mobile devices. Uh, the three biggest are mobile shadows, profiling of the GPU on Tegra devices, and dynamic fonts on all mobile platforms with HTML-like markup. One of the biggest feature requests we've had is dynamic shadows on mobile devices. In Unity 4, we now support this. You can have a directional light casting shadows, uh, much like you would in a PC game or a Mac game. This is uh, very important for character work, so you can have your dynamic characters walking around the scene casting shadows and basically increasing the realism that you'd get from a mobile game. To get the most out of your games on mobile, it's important to know just where you're spending all your rendering budget or your CPU budget. Because of this, we've added uh, profile support to Tegra devices. It allows you to better find uh, areas in your game that are slow, either on the CPU or on the GPU side of things, and optimize. Take a scene or a fly through of your level and examine it in the profiler, and you can see exactly where in the level things are running slow. And from this, you can tweak your scenes and or scale down your shaders or even scale them up if it's a fast scene. And because of this, you can help your game reach its potential in terms of performance and quality. Dynamic fonts are something that our PC and Mac users have been able to use for quite a while. And this is something our mobile users have been requesting. As part of a wholesale font upgrade to Unity, we've added dynamic fonts to mobile. Uh, this means that on PC and Mac and mobile, all font handling is going through the same pipeline. This allows you to keep your build size down because you do not have to ship uh, bitmap fonts. And it also allows you to use HTML style markup in your text. This means you can make sections bold or italic just with simple markup. They are very powerful and they allow you to uh, mark up your text in your games for some in interesting styles. And they also support Asian fonts, which is something the Unity user base has been very excited about for a while. One of the added features that is not specific to mobile, but very exciting to mobile, is the ability for Beast to now take uh, normal maps into consideration when baking light maps. The lighting reacts in a much more realistic way. This allows you to have rocks or tiles or bricks actually have some surface intricacies and this won't get baked out when you use baked lighting. It's just a, an extra step on top of the light mapping that adds a little bit more love into your light maps. In addition to these larger features, we've also added a range of smaller additions into the Unity mobile product. We've added optimizations to the maths libraries for mobile, so now the mathematical operations you perform on your game should work faster. Uh, on iOS, it's now possible to render your game to a smaller target, and then Unity will automatically upscale it to the device's resolution. This means that if you have a game that's incredibly graphically intensive, you do not have to render it the full device resolution and can then upscale. It'll help with performance. And if you're publishing to Android, you can now build an Eclipse project from your game, um, so you don't have to publish directly from Unity. Moving forward with Unity, we are pretty excited about the 4.x release cycle and we're looking forward to giving you guys a lot more cool stuff, so stay tuned. <laughs>